Something extraordinary is occurring in one of the world's great remaining wilderness areas. An independent, non-profit organization is purchasing important tracts of land in a desperate attempt to stem the tide of animal extinctions before it's too late. In the heart of the remote central Kimberley, a unique conservation project promises to help provide a more secure future for the threatened wildlife of northern Australia. At over 3,000 square kilometres, or nearly three quarters of a million acres, Mornington Wildlife Sanctuary is this country's largest non-government nature reserve. In the year 2001, it was purchased by the Australian Wildlife Conservancy, an independent charity dedicated to helping protect Australia's endangered and declining species. Cradled by the ancient sandstones of the King Leopold Ranges, the sanctuary hosts a landscape of spectacular beauty. Flat-topped mesas and steep-sided gorges are cut by stunning tropical rivers and meandering streams. However, less than 10 years ago, it was almost a very different story. The majestic Diamond Gorge was threatened by a proposal to dam the mighty Fitzroy River, which would have flooded a large part of what is now the wildlife sanctuary. This short-sighted plan was abandoned after a groundswell of community opposition led by the local Aboriginal people. Diamond Gorge is of immense significance to the local Aboriginal community. AWC's acquisition of the property, made possible by a generous donation from a Perth businessman, should help prevent any future attempt to sacrifice the river and its wildlife. In addition to the rivers and gorges, Mornington protects a diversity of habitats that are not protected in any government national parks. Tropical savanna woodlands, spinifex clad ranges, wetlands, billabongs and pockets of rainforest ensure a tremendous diversity of flora and fauna. Around 180 bird species have been located on the property, making it a bird watcher's paradise. Mornington is one of the last strongholds for endangered species such as the Gouldian finch, and the purple-crowned fairy wren. The Australian bustard, now declining across much of the continent, is also present in good numbers. Very little is known about the mammals, reptiles and amphibians of the central Kimberley. Very few people would realise that Australia has the worst mammal extinction rate in the world. Recent evidence demonstrates the wave of extinctions may soon engulf the mammals of northern Australia. AWC understands that simply purchasing Mornington and calling it a sanctuary is not enough. Practical on-ground management is required to address threats such as feral animals and weeds. It is the twin forces of cattle grazing and altered fire regimes that most scientists now believe is the primary cause of the decline in bird and mammal populations in the Kimberley. Accordingly, key priorities at Mornington include the staged removal of cattle and implementation of a fire regime that results in a mosaic of burnt and unburnt areas, avoiding the hot late season fires that over time have devastated areas in northern Australia. With the current land management practices in terms of grazing and fire regimes, it's upset or change the balance of grass species composition or away from grasses that set seed in the very late dry in the early wet so there's even less food now than there was a hundred years ago the management of mornington represents a new and innovative approach to conservation it is vitally important work made possible only by donations from thousands of supporters around Australia. 
AWC's approach is underpinned by partnerships with the local Chilinji Aboriginal community and also with national parks agencies, universities and a range of other organisations. The intimate knowledge and experience of the Chilinji community is invaluable. AWC staff are working closely with Sammy Walker and others in the community to design and implement conservation programs and to protect sites of cultural significance. This water is the living water. It wouldn't go dry. It's living water. Yeah. Thanks to a major donation from an AWC supporter, a Gouldian Finch restoration program has been established at Mornington. Two leading scientists have been employed to unlock the secrets to survival for the Gouldian Finch and identify a blueprint for their recovery across Northern Australia. Public education and promoting awareness are also vital ingredients of AWC's strategy. A wilderness camp has been established where you have the choice of pitching your own tent or staying in one of ten comfortable safari-style tents overlooking the picturesque Annie's Creek. Visitors to Mornington can reconnect with nature at some of the Kimberley's most awe-inspiring locations, including the magnificent Diamond and Sir John Gorges. Donors can experience firsthand the programs they are helping to support. Interpretive material provided by AWC ensures that visitors learn more about the sad plight of the Kimberley's wildlife and the urgent need to take action. At the end of a day exploring the wildlife sanctuary, there's plenty of time to catch up and chat about the day's exciting discoveries or the sighting of a rare bird. AWC's vision for Mornington Wildlife Sanctuary is bold and ambitious. AWC is intent on not only saving endangered species from extinction, but also on returning populations to the levels of 50 years ago. Similarly, ambitious programs are in place at AWC's other sanctuaries around Australia. Great progress is already being made at Mornington, but to realise its vision, AWC and the wildlife of the Kimberley need your help. If this generation does not act to save Australia's declining species, it will be too late. You can be part of this exciting project and part of the team that provides new hope for species such as the Gouldian Finch. Come and visit Mornington Wildlife Sanctuary or become an AWC supporter by making a tax-deductible donation to one of the worthiest causes on this planet, the protection of Australia's unique and threatened wildlife. <laughs>